All right, my name is Amici Akpom. I'm with the USC Department of Contracts and Grants, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about some strategy that we use at the university uh, in regard to when you have an agreement and you need to mark it up and have a whole bunch of different red lines and rationale. You know, if, if you're going to receive that cold, if you've ever received that inside your inbox, it can be rather jarring. One thing that we do, um, as a professional courtesy essentially, is to go ahead and pick up that phone. You call whoever you're going to send it to saying, hey, what's going on? Thank you for sending over the agreement. I've taken a look at it, and there are some commas I have. Now, when you first look at it, you're going to see a whole lot of red, but don't, don't be shocked. A lot of it's just changing the institution name, where it should be, the amounts, period performance, things like that. And don't worry, I provided rationale and everything, uh, the changes that we've made, so you understand where we're coming from. And of course, feel free to give me a ring as soon as you get it so we can discuss that. That really frames the situation very much differently so that when they see your agreement, they'll work with you instead of just pushing back and freaking out. Now, a question that someone raised is, what happens when you have international negotiations? It's a little more difficult to call in a different time zone and in different language and, and things like that. In the past, when I've run into that situation, you know, the heads up is done via email. And you don't send the giant novel pillar post that, uh, messages. What you do is you break things down incrementally. You say, hey, uh, thank you for sending the agreement. I will be looking at this and sending you back some uh, suggestions. Very simple communication. You make sure you get the basics out there. Uh, then you, when you send the email, hey, here's the email that I sent earlier with the changes, with rationale. So, so what you do is you break it up. You try and do what you were going to do over the telephone, over email, before you send that real big heavy red line document. So hopefully that's helpful.